Hey, Robbie Live with Harness, and today we're taking a look at a complete CI CD pipeline going from code to production. Uh, we'll be leveraging two pieces. We're going to be leveraging Harness CI or drone and the Harness Continuous Delivery Platform. So, this is assuming that you already have a drone installation or a Harness CI installation, and also you have an awaiting Kubernetes cluster and a Harness delegate installed in the Kubernetes cluster. The blog post has this in great detail. So the first thing you want to do if you want to add a Kubernetes cluster to Harness, assuming that you have a Kubernetes delegate installed, is to come to Setup, Cloud Providers. Now let's go ahead and add a Cloud Provider. We're going to add a Kubernetes cluster. And let's just call this the amazing Kubernetes cluster. We're going to inherit the details from a delegate that we have deployed. We're going to go ahead and click Test. Perfect. Go ahead and click Submit. And now Harness is aware of this particular Kubernetes cluster. The next thing we want to do is we want to make a Harness application. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and add an application. Let's just call this first CI CD. And go ahead and click Submit. And now we can start wiring the pieces in our abstraction model. So let's go ahead and first we want to make an environment. Go ahead and add an environment. Let's just call this amazing k 8 environment. Let's call it a non-production environment. Click Submit. And the next step would be to add an infrastructure definition. So this is just allowing Harness to know where to deploy to. Let's call this Ravi k 8 It's going to be a Kubernetes cluster. We're going to be making a Kubernetes-based deployment. The cloud provider was one we just created, <laughs> the amazing Kubernetes cluster. Default namespace for now, and go ahead and click Submit. With the environment out of the way, let's go back to first CI CD. Let's go ahead and create a service. Let's go ahead and add a service. Now, before we do this, we can actually jump ahead. So we have to have some sort of idea of what we're going to be deploying. Here, I'm going to be deploying the amazing application. And here, I've had a few tags while building out the blog post. Uh, but let's go ahead and wire this. And also, we can wire for new artifacts. Jumping back into Harness, let's go ahead and just call this Amazing App. It's going to be a Kubernetes-based deployment. We can go ahead and add the artifact source as a Docker registry. We're going to be pulling down from Docker Hub. And if you remember the Docker image name, it's this our latchbin Amazing App. Perfect. Now, all we need to do now is do two more things. Let's go ahead and wire a workflow so we know what to do. So let's go ahead and create a workflow. Let's just call this Boy Amazing App. We're going to have a rolling deployment. We're going to be deploying to what we just created, uh, the Amazing App, and also my Kubernetes cluster. Go ahead and click Submit. Perfect. The last step that we need to do here is actually wire up a trigger. Uh, so when there's a presence of a new artifact, uh, that Harness will take over for you. Let's go ahead and create a trigger so Harness can pick up on it. Click on Trigger. Let's add a trigger. Let's just call this Docker Artifact. Go ahead and click Next. So what we want to do, we want us to indicate a build on a new artifact or a deployment. Uh, the artifact source would be the one we just defined in the service. Uh, the build and tag feature, eh. But the filter, we can go ahead and just filter for everything. Because in this example, we're going to be kind of sequential. Go ahead and click Next. The execution type will be a workflow. And we're going to be executing the workflow we just created. And also, we're going to go ahead and get the last artifact collected. And so the artifact sources again, our Docker service that we have there. And go ahead and just say, look for star. Click Next. Everything is good. And now it's time for us to take a look at Drone. So currently, Drone, we have wired to a GitHub repository called Drone Sandbox. And so let's take a look at what these YAML this YAML file actually looks like. Taking a look at the YAML file, a very simple YAML file. Uh, the couple of things that we do have to change here are, are the tag information, uh, because when we update the tag, uh, Harness will look for an updated tag uh, for this. So let's go ahead and update this, increment this to 1.06. And say, let's say, welcome 1.0.6. Oh, pardon me. Go ahead and hit, click commit changes. And actually, this should be kicking off a drone build for us. Perfect. The drone build has been kicked off. Also, if you need more information on how to set this up, we can take a look at a, a previous blog post or previous video getting drones set up to this point. Great. With the publish complete, let's navigate back to Harness and take a look at if the build has been kicked off or the deployment has been kicked off in the build. Navigating back to deployments, we see this has actually been kicked off. 
digging into it, our deployment is well underway. And just like that, your very first deployment using an end-to-end CI/CD pipeline is complete. Thanks for taking it out. Cheers, Robin.